Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the latest album from Cattle Decapitation, Death Atlas, out November 29th on Metal Blade Records. This album has 14 tracks, 55 minutes in length, and this is the band's 8th full length studio album. This is a concept album that starts with the album cover, moves on to the record structure, song titles, lyrics, and then the music. Everything is interconnected to paint a picture, and this is a very dark and bleak picture, but one that's important for everyone to really pay attention to and perhaps see your own reflection in that picture, because that's what the concept is all about. The concept is about humanity and how small we are, regardless of the achievements that we have managed to accomplish. It really allows you to look at us no different than when you look at dinosaurs, for example, in terms of us one day perhaps going extinct and no longer being part of this universe and of this planet. In our case, if that comes to fruition, will be because of our own uh, wrongdoing, not necessarily external forces. But this album really brings that to the forefront and I think it allows you not only to look at what is happening and what could possibly happen and what other people are doing, but more importantly, I think this is a very introspective approach because I feel that when you listen to this album, you start thinking about what I, what I have done. Have, have I done enough to change the course of history? Have I done my part? Because if everybody does their part, then you're going to have a much larger impact. But if we all feel that what we're doing is not enough, then we're just going to be uh, we're just going to be instruments to our own demise. And I think that this record really brings that um, to the forefront. It really allows you to feel that in the lyrics and the emotion that the songs carry. And it, it ha and it like I said, and it paints a very dark, somber, melancholic, and and really. Uh, really grim picture of what the future has in store for us humans in this wonderful planet of ours. And like I said, if you think about that and you look at the album cover and then you look at the song titles and at the lyrics of the tracks, you really start to feel like th this connection w within every single thing. It's almost like this record is our planet. And every single piece of this record, you be the structure, the lyrics, the music, uh, the, the song titles, it's one of those living organisms within that planet. So everything is interconnected. You change one, it affects all of the rest. So it, the album has that kind of fluidity, has that kind of dynamic, has that kind of approach. Definitely dark, somber. I, I'm gonna say one of the most dark and somber records that I've listened to this year. It, it really brings a lot of emotions from within and you're really not sure what to do with a lot of those. It, it's just a very, very thick and, and heavy to digest record from that perspective. It just carries a lot of emotion within its walls. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, this album really mixes a variety of genres from black metal, grindcore, death metal, sludge, doom, mellow death. All of these genres are really included onto this record. It's not like there's one song that has more of one, less of the other. I really felt that they just blended them all in and then they kind of used that blend of all the genres on every single song. Obviously, certain songs you're going to feel more of one style of one approach versus the others. But all of these extreme metal genres have a lot of things in common. So I, I felt that they pulled the extreme ends of all of those genres, brought them together, melted them up, and then that's what uh, th that's what created the music on this record. So while there's some differences between them, they all have some com commonalities. And to me, it was the commonalities that the band took and used it on this record. The structure of the album includes these intro tracks that work like chapter introductions. I really like that because it really plays to the overall picture, to the overall concept that the record has. And I, and I like how it, it almost creates chapter after chapter as you're going down the record. It, it starts off with a, with a message uh, from humanity, uh, a message of perhaps of hope, but also a little bit of despair. And then as the album progresses, you start to feel like the record, the message is getting darker. The outcome is becoming darker. The outcome is becoming more visible. The end of time, at least for us, for humanity, is becoming more and more visible. It's becoming uh, more of a reality and less of something on the far distance. So with those intro tracks, they really did a good job structuring the record in a way that really allows the album to become darker with every single song that goes by. A lot of records have a completely different dynamic. They start off uh, dark, and as uh, and as the concept progresses, you start to find the light at, at the end of the tunnel. You start to, to reach into into brightness. This record has a complete different approach. It starts dark, and it finishes even darker. It finishes even with a more ominous feel to it. So it has a very different, unique approach to it as far as the overall structure, and then how the sound plays within that structure. 
vocally, this is an album that I really enjoyed from that perspective because it gave me a lot to go with. It was not just one style of vocals or two styles. The, the, the range in vocals is very wide. From a few clean vocals to harsh vocals to absolutely demolishing gutturals. Like, there's a little bit of everything on this record and how it was used was used in a very smart, intelligent, and, and like really pinpoint accuracy kind of way. Because they used the vocals as another instrument in order to paint that picture, in order to tell you that story, to really relay the lyrics to you, and more important in my opinion, to really bring emotion out of those lyrics, to make you feel in your own skin what those words meant and how important they are. So I really like the vocal approach on this album. I love the range. I love what they did with it. But to me, the most important aspect of that is that how it plays into the story and how it plays into the overall concept that this record has. Now, as far as songs are concerned, I picked three songs outside of the singles. I want to start off with Vulturous, a very somber drum opening for this track. The same feel and atmosphere that you get there then progresses into the track. Uh, the vocals really give this song the dynamic changes that the track needs in order to go into different places. The track moves out of that more slumber introduction into an overall more aggressive and intense approach, both musically and vocally. Uh, the soul that comes within this track to me plays a huge role because it brings melody to a track that overall is very aggressive and it's very heavy. Now, even when the solo is being played, it's not like the solo is, 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 is bringing all of this light into the track. No, because they kept the drums around it in a very aggressive, pungent way. The drums are so powerful, even when the solo is being played. So while the solo is giving melody to the track, it never strips away the heaviness and the aggression that the song has. I really like that. I really like that combination. And overall, I really like the structure that this song has to offer. And I like how the vocals really guide you through the different dynamical changes that the track has built in within itself. Next, Absolute Destitute, one of my favorite songs on the album. This song comes in slow, but it quickly moves into an absolute wrecking ball of sound and vocals together. This is just a wall of sound that's coming at you. The drums are powerful, the guitars provide you melody. It, it, it's they, The guitars have some heaviness into it, but if there's one source of melody in this track, uh, it's definitely coming from the guitars. The drums are just absolutely heavy powerful and, and very straightforward they always feel like they're carrying you forward as you move into the into the song uh, i like the fact that you have that heaviness from the drums you have those changes between melody and and, and heaviness from the guitars and then the vocals are there in a demolishing way to really be the ultimate complement to those dynamical changes that you have from drums and guitars. The, the middle vocal bridge on this song to me is very important because they added vocal layers to it. It almost gives a sense of a choir, but more important to me, that portion of the song felt like the voice of humanity's conscious. So if, if, if Earth or humanity had an overall consciousness, that voice, the way those vocals were layered together would be that voice. So I really like that. It played extremely well into the lyrics of the song, into the overall feel that the record has. I just really like that approach. It, it, it just gave uh, it extra life. It just it just gave extra flavor to this absolutely incredible track. Once uh, once that break ends, then it resumes with the vocals, with the heaviness, with the aggression. Everything comes back to where it started. It's a song that kind of kind of goes full circle. That bridge there in the middle really allows you to rethink. It really allows you to reset. And it's perhaps one of those moments that's just just gives the listener a little chance to catch your breath, but more important to have an introspective moment within a very powerful song from a lyrical perspective. Last but not least, with all this respect, by the way, I love this song title. What a name of a song with all this with all this respect. I absolutely love it. This is my favorite song on the record. Uh, it has, it's not apologetic at all. It takes no prisoners from a sound, from a vocal, and from a lyrical perspective. This song just destroys everything around it. All elements come together. It's this avalanche of sound that's coming at you, that's moving forward as the track progresses. The drums are absolutely killer on this track. The change in vocal style, it's, it's extremely important in this song because there's a change, a clear change in the vocal approach between the verses and the chorus. But the way the change happens is very smooth. It's a very easy, smooth transition that doesn't allow the song to feel like it's broken between the verses and the chorus. It has a very smooth transition. While the vocals being extremely different, they transition extremely well. And I really like the two different approaches 
the approach in the in the chorus is a lot more melodic has a lot more of a higher tone to it and then the approach in the verse is a lot more somber a lot more methodic so i really like this song from that perspective to me the vocals and the change in vocal style from verses to chorus is what allowed me to gravitate to this song i absolutely love that dynamic all right, guys, this is it. This is Cattle Decapitation with their brand new album, Death Atlas, out November 29th on Metal Blade Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, any questions that you may have. Use the, the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.